Here comes a local favorite now, Terrence Stansberry. Now, Terrence has choreographed his stuff, and he's going to come up with, uh, I'll tell you what, on the second one. I'll see interesting to see what he comes up with on the first dunk, but... Oh, he's thinking about doing the Statue of Liberty 360 on the first one. That's his patented move that he initiated two years ago in Indianapolis. This is the Statue of Liberty 360, I think. Oh, my! And the partisan crowd holding up pens. Oh, well, we see a couple of nines snuck in there. <laughs> and one eight. Stansberry, uh, excuse me, Dawkins only had a 37. Leader right now is Drexler with 45. There you see the 360. Beautiful control for Stansbury, 49. So Stansbury is our leader in the first round. One of the NBA executives, Rick Welts, uh, said that he was his dark horse pick. He thought Stansbury could win it. Well, he got off to a great start. Got Terrence Stansbury's number on that one, 44 points for Johnny Dawkins. All right, and here's Stansbury. He had the best dunk in the, the first attempt in round one. going to be hard to beat Terrence Stansberry. Well, you see the thing about Terrence is, is Terrence is being creative. Okay, he's got the athletic abilities, no doubt about that. 44-inch vertical leap, but he's creative. He does some unusual things. Here he goes, flips it up in the air, comes up, takes it down on the double clutch, and throws it back up. Didn't have a very strong dunk on that and got a 50. I don't think he deserved a 50, Bob. As you watch it in super slow-mo, he barely got the ball over the rim, caught the front of the rim with the ball. That did not deserve a 50. Well, there you go. Whenever you're having judging, that's why they count points for baskets in the game. 40 years in the collegiate ranks. You know, a lot of the old-timers aren't real crazy about dunks anyway. And so he may be very tough on them as he looks well, at the Well, it's judging. not so much that. It's just the way, like, Michael Jordan's first dunk was much better than the second dunk, it could, yet it scored much lower. We'll take a look at Stansbury, one of the more creative guys. He and Kersey, I think, have been the two most creative so far in the competition. I would think that these two should make it into the finals, but you never know. Stansbury going to be tough to beat that one. This is the man that has finished third the last two years in a row. Oh, he's hand... He's hand slapping the fans and going back over to the bench. He put on a show after the dunk. Again, Stansbury likes to toss the ball in the air, catch it again. Here he goes. The little flip up, the catch, the little pump down, and the two hands over the head with authority. That dunk got a 49. 49. Now, that was better than his 50 dunk, Bob. So, the, in the first dunk, they get three dunks in the semifinal round. The first dunk, we've had a 50, a 50, and a 46. Here's Stansbury. Well, it's coming down to the most important dunk of the competition for Stansbury. He's got to come up with something very good here because the other players have scored very high, and if he doesn't come up with a good score here, he could not make it to the finals, and he has been one of the more consistent and exciting players thus far. Jordan and Kersey have a 50, a 49 for Stansbury first time. That's nothing all that creative. Uh, he had to be a little bit cautious, and it may have cost him, Bob. It'll be interesting to see what Kersey comes up with. Of course, he has one more dunk after this. There are three dunks in this one. This is Stansberry's second dunk in the semifinal round of three. Just goes up and takes it back up over his head. Now, that's something that a lot of uh, players can do as you look at from the slam camera. The slam cam showing you what he did to finish it off, and he gets a 45, and I think he was very fortunate to get a 45. Being eliminated, he has a 46, and that one was a 45. And looks like comes Stansberry. Looks like Jordan right now and uh, Kersey have the advantage. Stansberry. Pretty strong. Now, you see, he has a flair about him, Bob. That's just that little toss in the air to take your hand off the ball to re-catch it again. Catches the, the, the eye of the judges. It makes you think about what he's doing. He does a nice move on this dunk as he comes up. We'll see it finish off. The ball up in the air. He catches it. Does a little clutch move. Throws it through with two and comes up with a big 50. And he needed that one. And that puts the heat now on Kersey and Jordan to come up with some big dunks to move by Stansbury, who had that 45 on the second one. 